Reduce, reuse, recycle. It seems these words are applied just about everywhere these days. That includes the Duluth Superior Harbor at the headwaters of Lake Superior. Each year, an average of more than 100,000 cubic yards of dredged materials are removed from the Duluth Superior Harbor. The buildup of the sediment that must be dredged is caused by ship traffic, and it's to keep that same ship traffic moving that the sediment must be dredged and removed, so that water levels in the ship canals remain at least 28 feet deep. But what is done with the sediment after it's dredged from the harbor floor? Nearby Erie Pier holds a confined disposal facility, or a CDF, for just that purpose. However, it can only hold a limited volume. They're going to fill up, and then what are you going to do? Go build another one. For more than 20 years, Marine Tech and its predecessor Zenith Dredge have been at the forefront of efforts to find alternative solutions for dredged materials. Back when the Erie Pier CDF was first built, it was believed it would be full by 1989. We're still using the facility today. The main reasons for continual use of that facility is our efforts for recycling. More than just recycling, Marine Tech is changing the way the industry looks at dredged materials. Historically, the scooped up sediments are considered a waste product, often called dredge spoils. Marine Tech looks at it as a valuable resource. We are the only place in the Great Lakes, one of the few places nationally that have recognized the need for recycling or the beneficial reuse of dredge materials. When dredging, in some areas clean sand is found. Sand is easy to reuse because it's needed for a variety of projects. It can simply be stored and sold. But Marine Tech realized that even the softer dredged materials contain some sand. And so they worked with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to develop a system for washing the materials, separating out the sand to use in other applications, and minimizing what is brought to Erie Pier. This saves on the cost of new construction by extending the life of Erie Pier. To build a new CDF would cost probably somewhere between 30 and 50 million dollars here in Duluth. And quite honestly, nobody wants to spend that kind of money. Working with the Harbor Technical Advisory Committee and its dredging subcommittee, Marine Tech continues to explore new processing techniques and alternative reuse options, including a pilot project that applies dredge sediments on old mining sites. So we take the product that we dredge, we wash it, we save the sand out. Sand can be used for structural material for construction projects, whether it's highway or building trades. The softer sediment is separated out and stored in a separate area, and from there it's loaded onto either rail cars or trucks and shipped up to the mines for mining reclamation. This demonstration project shows that spreading the sediment on former mine land turns this former waste product into an environmental plus. Today, representatives of other ports visit the Duluth Superior Harbor to study and copy its recycling efforts, and Erie Pier remains in operation, though with one small change. We no longer call Erie Pier a confined disposal facility. Now it's a dredge materials recycling facility.